Murph AI. Welcome to Murph Academy videos. Following the import of your script into the studio, structuring it becomes crucial as it affects how your voiceover is delivered. This video will help you with Structuring your script by organizing them within blocks and sub-blocks. Structuring guidelines for different use cases and different block and sub-block actions to help you further with script structuring and voice generation. Start by typing, copy-pasting, or importing your script into the studio. The script editor here helps you structure your script into blocks and sub-blocks. Your script can be broken into paragraphs or blocks. And the blocks can be further divided into multiple sub-blocks. This is useful because blocks and sub-blocks contain options and features to customize your voiceover and make it sound more realistic. You can create multiple blocks and sub-blocks anywhere within the script editor. To add a block at the end of your script, click on Add a Block. To add a block between two existing blocks, hover to the right over the space between the two blocks and to add a block. To add a block at the start of the project, hover your cursor over the top right corner of the very first block and add a block. Within the block, you can create new sub-blocks by simply pressing the Enter key. You can split each of your sentences into a sub-block or group a few sentences within a single sub-block. This helps your voiceover have a seamless flow to its narration. Let's explore the other structuring options available in the script editor a little further. When you hover to the left between two sub-blocks, you will see the option to split the sub-blocks. This splits the sub-blocks into two individual blocks. You also have the option of merging two different blocks into a single block. Simply hover to the left in the space between the two blocks and click on Merge. Once your script is structured, you can begin to work on generating your voiceover. The blocks support voice settings in the top panel and block actions in the top right corner. These voice settings help you set the right pace and right tone for your voiceover. These settings are applied to all the sub-blocks within a block. If you'd like a particular section of the block to have a different speed, voice, or pitch setting, you can simply split it to create a new block. This helps your voiceover have a seamless flow and helps eliminate monotony. Voice settings like emphasis and pronunciation work best for smaller sentences, so they are accessed at the sub-block level. This is because the emphasis feature works only for those sentences that contain less than 300 characters. There are words that have the same spelling but different pronunciations. When there are multiple occurrences of these words within the same paragraph, alternating between different pronunciations becomes difficult. For this reason, both emphasis and pronunciation features are made to be accessible only at the sub-block level, and to enforce this constraint, a character limit of 1000 characters is set for the sub-blocks. If you exceed the character limit, simply press Enter to create a new sub-block. This will split the sub-block into two and resolve the error. Once the settings are applied, you can generate and preview the voice by clicking on the play button on the right of the top panel. To preview the voice for a specific sub-block, click on the play button on the right of the sub-block. This helps you get a better idea of whether your script or your voice requires any further modifications. When you import or paste your script into the script editor, you will be prompted to split your script by blocks or sub-blocks. 
This helps a great deal with the flow of narration and caters to different use cases. Splitting by paragraphs would split each of your paragraphs into blocks. You can decide whether you'd like your paragraph to be split into sub-blocks or retain the paragraph structure. Features like emphasis and pronunciation work better with shorter sentences, but having your paragraph as a single block helps your voiceover have a seamless flow. This method is ideal for e-learning, podcasts, and audiobooks, as the emphasis is more on how the script is delivered. Check the Don't Split Sentences box if you did not wish to split your sentences into sub-blocks. You can alternate between the sentence structure and the paragraph structure for a more even pacing and flow of the voice. Splitting by sentence, on the other hand, would break each of your sentences into a block. This option is best suited for video scripts and conversational scripts. In the timeline, the voice blocks correspond to the blocks created in the script editor. There are, however, no separate controls for the sentence blocks inside a block. This is when splitting by sentence really helps. When you split your blocks by sentences, each sentence will now correspond to the video or image block script, which makes it easier to align the voiceovers with the image blocks or video blocks. This option is also really useful for creating conversational scripts where different voices feature in a single script. Here, splitting your sentences into blocks becomes a must, as blocks can only have one voice selected at a time. Now that we've explored script and voice settings in detail, let's look at different block and sub-block options that are available in the studio to help you further with script editing. Click on the three dots menu in the top right corner to access the block options. Click on move up or move down to rearrange the blocks. To delete the block, click on delete. And to duplicate the block, click on duplicate. This will create an identical block right below the original block with the same voice settings. You can also download the audio for the block by selecting download. To apply the voice settings to the whole project, Select Apply Settings to Project. Let's now look at different options available for sub-blocks. You can split a sub-block by pressing Enter and merge it by simply pressing Backspace at the beginning of the sub-block. Hover to the right of the sub-block to access the sub-block actions menu. This will display all the available sub-block options. You can move your blocks up or down, delete the sub-block, and download the audio of the sub-block. You can also rearrange your sub-blocks by dragging and dropping the sub-block either within the same block or into a different block. That's it for this video. Be sure to check out our other videos.